Coming up, we start a brand new reno. Here we are, it's day one at our chalet project. Ta-da! I don't know, do you think we could do this in two months? A cowboy boot plaid shirt stool. Don't be alarmed, this may not be here at the end, okay? Just saying. To say that the island reno ended up being more than anyone expected would be an understatement, but I am pleased to report that at the end of last week, the crew was finally able to take their tools home and get off the island. I can't tell you that we're completely 100% done. Alex and I have a few chores left on our to-do lists, but after a weekend spent relaxing, which was really nice, an island life, exploring, sailing, cliff jumping, friends relaxing weekend, we're ready to dive back into things. The crew got a half a day off, and now, today, it's Monday, it's sunny, it's gorgeous, and I am headed to our chalet project to take a look at the befores and get the demo rolling. So let's do this. Got my co-captain ready to go. Heading to the job site. And every day, my life revolves around design. This is my journal of what's happening right now in my world as a creator, an entrepreneur, a partner, and a mom. And I'm sharing it with you. So let's go. Today is another chapter in my design life. It is a gorgeous summer day, and here we are. It's day one at our chalet project. Ta-da! What's amazing is it's summer, the sun is shining, it couldn't be nicer, and right now the ski hill is grass, but pretty soon it's gonna be covered in snow. So our mission is to do a cosmetic renovation on this chalet to take it from classic country cozy to contemporary chalet chic. Come on, let's take a tour. I know you wanna see it. It's a great setting with beautiful trees. The chalet has five bedrooms, a loft, and two and a half baths. My clients are a professional couple with two kids. They love cooking, entertaining, and of course, skiing. Okay, come on in, let's check it out. Mind the squeaky door. So what's interesting about this place is there's bedrooms and stuff on this lower floor, and then the living, the dining, the kitchen, and the living room is on the upper floor. So. Mudroom here, we've got an original Mexican tiled floor. Question is, do we keep it? Do we replace it? The good thing is with this house, we've got good bones to start with. We've got a really nice structure. We've got lots of beams, exposed pine, and our mission will be to see how much of it we keep, how much of it we restain, paint, retreat to do something different. Check this out, right off the mudroom. I think this was designed to be a guest bedroom, but my clients want this to be a kid's playroom, a media room, hangout space, and we've got a fabulous fireplace here. So we might actually consider changing this out to a gas fireplace unit, because that would allow us to get more heat coming into this house. Interestingly, this place is heated with electric baseboard heat not ever known as the most efficient heat source, so we're gonna investigate that. Out here, we have hot tub. Now, today, not really feeling like I wanna dive in there. However, imagine after a chilly, chilly day of skiing, how awesome this is, and the property backs onto a gorgeous open field. We won't be doing much with the exterior because really, this is a winter use space. Okay, that's outside, come on inside. Let's go back inside. Let's go to where the magic is going to happen, shall we? In here, oh yeah, little tool room. I find this is a funny place for a handyman room. And I'm gonna be totally honest, my client isn't really about being a handyman. He's a lovely man, I'm just not sure he wants to be a handyman. So I'm tempted to make this actual proper storage. We'll discuss that. Now, here we've got laundry, and this is, right now we're talking basic, but I think what we need to do is get some high efficiency machines in here, work on getting great storage in here, and freshen it up, change it up. But hey, who doesn't love a great 
laundry room right here adjacent to all the bedrooms and quite honestly near the stairs so whatever laundry you've got from upstairs throw it down the stairs we got bedrooms bedrooms galore in this one a king size guest room that's a nice way to be a guest isn't it look at all these nice chunky beams on the ceiling so often when you're starting a project, you're trying to get character into it. Well, the great thing here is we've already got character. And what I like is the architectural elements are good. We're gonna keep them, we're gonna embrace them. And then strictly through a cosmetic renovation, we can make some really dramatic changes. We can take this from country to contemporary. Next on our bedroom tour of the double bunk room because ski life and weekend life is about getting families together. It's cousins, it's friends, it's sleepovers, it's lots of kids. And so I think we're gonna split up these bunks, but this is gonna be a bunk room for our client's son, who is super excited about having his first set of bunk beds. Okay, then we have a queen size bed in here currently lacking the creature comforts called a mattress. This room feels a bit darker. I think overall, one of the main things we really need to focus on, whoa, that's like, that's like the interrogation spotlight and I did not do anything wrong. I think one of the main things we're gonna need to focus on here is getting great lighting. Cause what you don't want is spaces to feel dim and dingy. And right now that is exactly what we've got going on. If I turn this light out, it is a lovely day. You just saw it's a lovely day outside. Yep. Can't find my socks, mom. One of the things I'm struggling with is, this is a very strange use of space. For me, it feels like something needs to happen here because let's be honest, nobody but nobody is gonna sit and read a book over here, right? This is like, this is filler decorating. Why is this here? Unless I'm maybe it's waiting to use the bathroom. You have your choice of the rocking chair or get a load of this one. Check this out, left by the former owners. A cowboy boot plaid shirt stool. Don't be alarmed, this may not be here at the end. Okay, just saying, come on in. So then there's a bathroom. This is the guest bathroom, but not only is it a guest bathroom, it's also a sauna. In addition to the sauna, we have a shower and the shower is in this little enclosure. Terrible lighting, terrible. I didn't realize before how terrible the lighting is. The lighting in this place is horrible. We've got pretty low ceilings and I think this is from plumbing in the kitchen above, but what we'll do is we'll capture all of this space to make this a shower. And keeping in mind that we've got a bathroom that's gonna be shared maybe by multiple people and while people are in the sauna, I think what we'll do is we'll put an opaque door, a little privacy please. And then we have a water closet here and we have a double sink. And you know, the way this is laid out right now, everything is in the right place. Except maybe not this. I'm also not sure if this guy's still gonna be around at the end, but we can discuss that. Do you wanna vote on this? What do you think? Fun, cute, charming, or creepy? Um, I'm. I'm on the ladder. He's creepy for me. But anyway, let's go take a look upstairs. Come on. Okay, lots of great stuff happening. I like the placement of the staircase, but I gotta say, this is one of the key things I wanna work on. I feel like there's just way too much wasted space here that we do not need for the staircase, that we're not taking advantage of for the stair, and that we actually really need for the living space on either side. Now, isn't this great? Look at this space. We've got some furniture left over by the previous owners. Continuing with the cowboy boot theme, please notice this ottoman unlike anything I have ever seen before. If line dancing is your thing, that might be your ottoman. So we've got a really great big living room here. We've got all of the exposed timber frame construction. The question is how much wood we want and need when we're all done. That's gonna be a TBD. We're gonna talk more about that later, but we're gonna make this Maximum seating, really simple, clean lines. Right now, the whole space to me feels super warm, right? It's warm woods, it's rusty, buttery tones, 
My clients like a cool contemporary palette. So we're gonna move to grays and blues and whites. Why do I love these clients? Because they have the same sense of style that I do. How fun is that? Dining area here. Call me crazy, but I feel that this chandelier might be a little bit overscaled for the size of the table below, right? Anyway, we're gonna redefine this dining area. We can't change it, we can't make it bigger, but overall, my clients want a much crisper vibe. So I think we may be, I think we may be selling some of these pieces to raise some funds for some furniture. Now, we've got the kitchen. Crazy thing for me is, I think this kitchen is super small. I think sometimes people who have chalets think that it's just about putting a casserole in the oven. My clients love to cook. So my mission here is if I can't make the kitchen much bigger, can I make the kitchen live a bit bigger? That's my goal. We have really limited storage here. I mean, look at this. Because of the way this place is built, here's the beam right here. And this is a very small amount of storage for anyone. So everything here is compact. We're gonna to have to make the most of it, but we will re-outfit this entire kitchen and think about how we can make some good solutions. Maybe if we can reduce the size of this stairway enclosure, we can increase the size and function of the kitchen. But that's a question for another day. Okay, now we have a powder room. Mad for plaid in the powder room. Super handy to have. So there's the powder room. Well, this is, this is a traffic flow issue, people. Traffic jam, I can't get into the living room. So I really want this space to flow better. And if you think about it, how awesome to be able to live in this big lofty space. This is the advantage of putting your kitchen, living, dining on the upper level is you get great light, cloudscapes, and you have amazing views everywhere. I think this, this, I mean, let's admit it, this is great space now. Can you see it? Can you imagine how great this is gonna be when we're done? And you're wondering, when are we gonna be done? Well, I don't know. Do you think we could do this in two months? We have to be done before ski season. We have to have to have to be done by ski season. That is a mandate from our clients. And we could have started earlier, but the crew was kind of busy. They were working on this little island project that got out of control, got kind of tied up, got a little bit delayed. So yeah, we're starting about two months late. But that's okay, we're gonna make up time. This is the principal bedroom. And this is a nice space. Look at this, beautiful vaulted ceiling. It's great that we've got a king size bed. We have a dire lack of storage, which is a bit of a concern for me. And I find it kind of funny when you walk in the space and having the bed over here. So I'm thinking one of the things we could consider doing here is what if we took the bed and put the bed on this wall and then we could eliminate these doors with the Julia balcony that nobody is ever gonna use and we could just change this to a transom window above. Then we could actually build a closet on this wall and I think that's really important Last stop on our tour, this is the principal bathroom. So this is a little bit tricky because this beam can't be moved. My clients are both tall and so what I really wanted to do was I wanted to put the vanity in this whole space so that you get the natural light, but they're gonna clock their heads and nobody needs a concussion. Our agenda here is we would like a larger vanity, we need a shower stall, we need a bathtub because there's young kids and visiting nieces, nephews, babies, you name it. And so we just have to think about how to make this cute, this like standing in here now, looking at the ceiling, it almost looks like a dollhouse. Like, this is a fun little space. This is a fun little cabin almost. And we need to think about how best to tackle this to make the most of the space. Also, saloon door entry to the bathroom isn't really my jam and Hold on a second, are you kidding me? Um, please note, there is not a latch, not a handle, not a knob, nothing to give you some privacy. So let's just say you're just trying to get ready and suddenly this is what happens. No, bad idea. We're gonna change that. Oh, and there's one little hidden space that I haven't actually even seen yet. You lift this out. 
Oh, there's a mattress up here. Okay. Cute little kids loft. So overflow sleeping or kids play area. We'll have to think about that. I think we're gonna to need to get the kids involved in coming up with some great kid-friendly ideas. Although the perspective of standing here and looking down the staircase there, not my favorite perspective. So I'm just gonna come on down. Come on down. Okay, gang, that's it. That is the tour. That is our chalet project. Are you as excited about this as I am? I want you to follow along. I'm gonna ask for your opinion and I want you to get involved. I want you to join me on this adventure. And in about five minutes, we're gonna start the demo.